Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Solano again. And uh, first of all, I want to remind you what day today is. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. And this is going to be lesson number one. I am pointing now at the story we're going to be reading during this lesson one and two. And I want to go immediately to the title. But before that, let's see everybody's paying attention. Happy hands together on your lap. Good job. So the first thing I want to remember is title. And title is the name of the story. So let's look at the name of the story. I'm going to use my mouse to show you the title. The first word we have is start with the letter. Very good. And that's the name of the character, actually. I'm going to read it for you. Pete. And I'm pointing right now our Pete. Because we have a picture or an illustration that is helping me to read the story. So the story is about Pete. And um, before we move on into lesson number two and actually reading the story, there's a couple of things I want to do. Number one, everybody say number one. Good job. So number one, we are going to remember that title is, can anybody tell me? Raising hands. Everybody ready? Okay. So what is title? Everybody say title is the name of the story. So that's what the title says. That's the name of the story. Number two, I'm going to move my number two to this side. We're going to talk about also characters. So characters are people or animals that talk in the story. Okay. So if an animal is talking in the story, that's a character. Okay. If a thing is talking in the story, you know, like a table or you know, a tree is talking, it's a character. Okay, good. So in this story that we have down there, Pete is the main character and he's going to be talking. But for lesson number one, I want, I want to pay attention to a couple of things. Number one, I want to work with some words and I'm going to show you the words. One thing that I did today is that this important words I'm going to show you, I chose colors to color every letter in the picture. So I'm going to start with the first one. This is the first word I have. Can you see it? So what word is this one? Okay, some people say it over there. But before we say it, how many colors do you see that I use? Let me point at the colors so you can see it. Yes, we use two colors, which means that this word that is only one has two letters. Because remember, letters together make words, okay? This one particularly has two letters and is the word I -n. Everybody say in. Good job. And that's an important word for today. I'm going to try with the next one. And the next word has, look at the colors. How many colors do you see I use? Very good. Somebody says three colors. Very good. So we use three colors, which means that this word has one, two, three letters. But this is only one word, right? Let's remember that letters together may words, okay? This is only one word that has three letters all right everybody we're going to start with the first sound e by the way if i cover this what do you see aha uh -huh. we see the word is so we have to add the beginning this is the beginning sound and it's is so together this word says his and it has Three letters. Good job. I'm going to start with the next word. This one is a little longer. Look at the word. How many colors do you see? Very good. We have four colors, which means that this word has four letters. And this is one of our side words that we already know. And this word says, I'm going to start with this, m e n E, many. Can everybody say many? Very good. All right. I'm going to move to the next one. Now, 
If the first, if the last word I show you, this one, has four letters, how many letters do you think my next word is going to show you? Does anybody want to predict? Does anybody want to guess? Anybody wants to guess? Well, somebody said maybe this one has many more. Look at the word and look at the colors. How many colors Mr. Solano used? Very good. We have five colors, which means that this word, which is one word, has five different letters. I'm going to start with the beginning, and we have the letter G and the letter R. Together, they, they talk together, and they say, grr, grr, and then, oh, gross, gross. And look at this word is growing, and it becomes really big. Okay, everybody say gross. Very good. I'm going to put it here. And then we have one more word. Our last word has five colors. Hmm. Let's guess how many we're going to have in this one. Well, in this one, look at the word. How many colors do you see I use? How many different colors? Very good. We have six, which means that this is only one word, but it has that many colors, but it's only one word. Start with the letter G here. We have a letter R, which is very strong. And the poor letter A cannot talk much. That's garden. Garden. This is the word garden. And this word is very important in the story. You will see why. Because today we're going to also talk about a special word saying oh, that it is setting. Everybody say setting. And setting is the place where the story happened. Okay? So, for example, if the story is in a classroom, the classroom is the setting. If the story happens in a house, the setting is the house. If the story happens in, at the beach, so the beach is actually the setting. Now, we'll see this story, what the setting is, but I want to remind you one more time the words. And I, let's, there is a clue hidden. Let's see if you can find it. I'm going to start with this one. And we, everybody say, in. Very good, in. Want to go to the next one? Everybody says, his. Very good. Want to go to the next one? Everybody say, many. Very good. Want to go to the next one? Everybody say, gross. Good job. And finally, we have this big important word for our story today. And this word is garden. Now, if you pay attention to these words, let me put them in order. If you pay attention to my words, you realize another important detail. In lesson number one, we're not yet ready to read my story. I'm going to use some information, but number one, what color is the beginning sound? Very good, it's purple. What color is the ending sound? It's yellow. What color Mr. Solano used for the beginning sound? Purple. What color is the ending sound? Purple. And I'm going to show you that Mr. Solano did the same thing for all the words. We did purple for the beginning sound. And we use yellow, or I use yellow, for the ending sound. Look at this other one. I use purple for the beginning sound and yellow for the ending sound. Again, purple for the beginning sound, yellow for the ending sound. This is kind of like a trick that I wanted to put over there. So that can help you to see which letter is the beginning sound and which one is at the end, okay? This one is very easy because it has only two letters. But this one has too many letters, so sometimes it's difficult to figure out which one is. So I hope that, that in this lesson is going to help you. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I want you to look at the cover page. At the cover of this page. I'm going to look at the title, and the title says, Pete, and we have another word that is one of our side words where everybody know. Oh, yes, you said it. Everybody say, duh. 
Some people say D. And then we have P, E, G, pig. And then we have this funny thing up here with a letter S. This is called apostrophe. Everybody say apostrophe. That's apostrophe S. And it means that it belongs to the pig. So it says pigs. And the last word, we just read it because I show it to you, right? Remember our last word, uh, one of our last words with six letters that I made for you? This one, that's garden. All right. So the title says, let's how about we read it together. Are you ready? Okay. I need my happy hands together on your lap. And let's read. Pete the pig's garden okay so this is the story that we're going to read in lesson number two okay now there's one task that i need you to do before we see lesson two okay so and for that we are going to need let me get it ready for me you are going to need a paper like this one a piece of paper and you have to make sort of like a square you see it a big square and what you have to draw here I want you to draw something I actually have a sentence right there do you see it and my sentence says what detail do you see and it's a question it has a question mark at the end that would be the punctuation let's read it together what detail do you see so in this square you're gonna get a piece of paper for lesson number two and you are going to make a square you don't have to write this don't write this i just need you to make the square and in the square i want you to look at the cover page and draw one thing that you see in the in the story okay look at the picture where pig is and look at all the things i'm going to start pointing at the things with my mouse do you see what um you know in the picture some things and your job will be to draw something here. You don't have to copy the sentence. Don't worry about this. I want you to make a square, a big square on a piece of paper. And with your pencil, I want you to look at the cover right now and decide what do you want to draw. Okay? So we can draw one, and you have to draw only one thing. Okay? So before we do the drawing, I want you to have a couple of seconds to look at the picture. In this picture, we see, what did you see? Aha, uh -huh. what, what are these? Very good, corn. So you can draw corn in your picture inside the square. Maybe you see the pumpkin. So you want to draw a pumpkin. That would be a good, that would be one detail. Because we're talking right now about a detail maybe you want to draw the tomatoes i know they look like oranges but they are actually tomatoes so you can draw a tomato maybe you want to draw a, um sorry a carrot or maybe the peas or the potatoes those looks like cookies to me but those are actually potatoes okay so i'm going to start this i'm going to be finish this lesson number one by reminding you to be ready for lesson number two, okay? And you are going to do your square and you're gonna draw one of the things, look at the picture and draw one. And when you click on lesson number two, we're gonna continue talking. Before we finish, everybody help me. In his many grows and finally, garden. Okay, friends, thank you for being here with me for lesson number one, and I will see you in lesson number two. Bye-bye.